This is YouTube channel Mass Insights. In this video, you are going to learn how to draw Venn diagrams for particular sets. In the previous video, you learnt how to draw Venn diagrams for union and intersection of two sets. In this video, we are going to draw Venn diagrams for important sets and we are going to establish the relation between the sets also by using the Venn diagrams. If you see the first one A minus B or B minus A, we will draw the Venn diagram for A minus B and B minus A. This is called difference of two sets. All of you know to draw a Venn diagram, you have to draw first the universal set. The universal set by using the rectangle and you have to write the rect within the rectangle, you have to write the symbol for universal set. A and B are not disjoint sets. Therefore, they are having some elements which are common to both A and B. Now, I am drawing two circles for representing the set A and B. Now, A minus B. See, it's very clear. From A, we are subtracting the portion of B. See, this is A and this is B. This is the portion of B within A. That portion should be subtracted. Therefore, you may draw this area with horizontal lines. Then this area, the shaded area or the vertical lines, the area showing with vertical lines represents which belongs to the set A minus B. Therefore, you may write like this. And if you take B minus A, similar way, you have to uh, draw a universal set by using rectangle and you have to represent that area total area with u and similarly you have to draw two sets a and b by using two circles this is a and this is b now b minus a that means from b you have to subtract the area of a if it is there anything See, if you observe, this is the set to B. In this set, you have some portion of A. This is the portion of A which belongs to A. Therefore, you have to subtract it. Then the remaining area shows the set B minus A. Therefore, this is the area which is showing B minus A. Therefore, you may draw B minus A is equals to with horizontal lines. See, these horizontal lines and these horizontal lines are not same. This is separate diagram, this is separate diagram. If you want, you may represent this area with vertical lines also. That will not make any difference. And from these two diagrams, what you will observe? You will observe that the area which is showing for A minus B is different the area showing B minus A. Therefore, we will conclude that A minus B is not equals to B minus A. If you come to the second law, that is A dash or A power C, that is the complement of a set A. You know that complement of a set is mu minus A. A dash is mu minus A or B dash is mu minus B. Whatever the set may be, if you want to define the complement of any set, you have to subtract that set from universal set. So, I am going to draw Venn diagram for A dash. It's very simple. As usual, you have to draw a rectangle for showing the universal set. So, I am showing this rectangle with a letter called u or mu also this letter called mu you may represent whatever the letter you want and by the definition of a dash a dash is equals to a dash is equals to mu minus a you know that every set is subset to the universal set therefore this set a is also to be drawn within the 
universal set and we have to name it as a then as per definition a dash is equals to mu minus a that means from the set of universal we have to subtract the area which is containing the set a here this is the area where the set a is containing therefore you have to remove that and shade the remaining region this is the remaining region so you may show this area by using whatever types of lines you want so this is the area where a dash shows okay and the next one is a dash whole dash double complement double complement of a set if you draw a dash this is a dash and again whole dash that means you have to remove you have to remove a dash that means this is the area which is showing a dash if you remove this area then this is the area which remains getting my point a dash whole dash a dash whole dash is equals to mu minus mu minus a dash that means from the universal set you have to remove the area which is showing a dash already you know that this is the area which is showing a dash you have to remove that and then this is the area which is remaining therefore i will draw this area with vertical lines therefore a dash whole dash is equals to the area which is showing with vertical lines which is nothing but the set a again therefore we will conclude that a dash whole dash is equals to a in this way you may show that a dash whole dash is equals to a coming to the third one it is uh, very important what is that a minus b union b minus a if you take two sets a and b and a union b minus a intersection b these two represents the symmetric difference of two sets whatever the sets may be a and b or c and d or x and y whatever it may be we will show that the area which is showing for this a minus b union b minus a on a union b minus a intersection b is the same then we will conclude that these two are equal so i will draw first this is the universal set universal set u and i am drawing circles for two sets a and b first i will divide this total set into two sets first one is a minus b and second one is b minus a i will show the area which is showing a minus b and then the area showing for b minus a then i will uni unite them that means i will find the area which is showing union of those two sets a minus b is nothing but you have to remove the area of b which is in a so see this is the area of b so we have to remove that this is the area showing a minus b is it or not so i am writing the area showing a minus b and also b minus a b minus a b minus a means you have to remove a from b that means from b if any area pertaining to a that should be removed see if you see this is b in this b you have the area which belongs to a that should be removed so this is the area which is remaining okay therefore this is b minus a next what you have to do a minus b union b minus a that means you have to take these lines and these lines if possible intersection of these two lines but you don't have intersection of those two lines vertical and horizontal therefore you will write them separately and you will put plus between them then the area which is showing a minus b union b minus a is this and this except this one this is a minus b union 
b minus a. Next, I will draw Venn diagram for this a union b minus a intersection b. That is also very simple. First, for everything, you have to draw a rectangle for universal set that is u. Then write two sets called a and b. First, write draw the area which is showing for a union b. A union b. A union b is nothing but the area which is showing only a only b and both see this is the area which is showing only a and this is the area which is showing only b and this is the area which is common to both a and b so you have to draw everything you have to show the total area which is showing a union b therefore i am showing the area with horizontal lines and then a intersection b i will show a intersection b with particular lines which are different from this horizontal so i am using a intersection b means the area which is common to both a and b if you observe the venn diagram this is the area which is common to which is common to a and b therefore i am showing this area with vertical lines now we have to sh we have to show the area which is a union b minus a intersection b so it's very clear you have to subtract you have to remove the area which is showing a intersection b this is the area which is showing a intersection b from a union b a union b means total a intersection b means this area then this shows that this and this only therefore you have to show this area by using only horizontal lines horizontal lines only so you observe that a minus b union b minus a in the previous diagram you have shown the area is equals to a union b minus a intersection b this is called symmetric difference of two sets a and b next if you see the fourth law a union b intersection c is equals to a union b intersection a union c these are very very easy uh, this law is called distributive law so we will take lhs and show the area and then for RHS, you will show the area that we will conclude that the area for both these sets is same. Therefore, we proved that A union B intersection C is equals to A union B intersection A union C. Very simple. Students are confusing to uh, differentiate associative laws and distributive laws. In distributive laws, you will have union and intersection but in associative laws you will have either union or intersection so first we will draw venn diagram for a union b intersection c very simple all of you know first you have to draw the universal set diagram then this is uh, so far you have taken only two sets in this case you are taking three sets this is u this is A, this is B and this is C. First, I will show B intersection C. B intersection C means the area which is common to both B and C. See, you have to forget this A. That means you have to assume that this circle is not available now. Only you have B and C. Then the area which is common to, uh, common to both B and C is this area. That means you have to write b intersection c is equals to showing with vertical lines then a union you may show a as horizontal lines so total a that means this is a then you have to show the area which is showing a union b intersection c union means you have to take everything that means these lines and these lines then you observe that this is the area which is showing a union b a union b intersection c 
that means i am writing horizontal lines plus vertical lines plus both horizontal and vertical then this area comes now i am going to draw venn diagram for a union b okay intersection a union c as usual you have to draw the universal set by using rectangle then this is u let it be a this is b and this is c a b c first show the area for a union b a union b means union means you know total area which is containing a and b c a and b this is a and b okay i am showing a union b with horizontal lines therefore a union b is equals to horizontal lines next a union c a union c means both a and c you have to forget these lines you have to keep in your mind the sets a and c only see these are a and c i am showing this a union c with with vertical lines okay see this is the area which is having only vertical lines then between them you have intersection that means a union b intersection a union c see intersection means you have to show the common area for both a union b and a union c a union b is showing with horizontal and a union a union c is showing with vertical you have to identify the area which is having both horizontal lines and vertical lines if you observe this is the area which is representing a union b intersection a union c i will write horizontal and vertical lines this is the area if you observe these two venn diagrams the area showing this a union b intersection c and a union b intersection a union c or same therefore we proved this but students are confusing sir you are having both the lines here but you are having only horizontal lines how these two areas are equal but you have to keep in your mind that you should not think about lines you have to think about area only whether this area and this area are same or not if i am saying this area and this area those areas are different but i am showing the same area in both the cases therefore these two sets are equal i will show this one and this one by using venn diagrams then you may prove these two by using venn diagrams first see i want to draw venn diagram for a union b whole dash which is equals to dash means complement of that see you have to subtract a union b from mu that is equals to mu or u you may write u u minus a union b you have to show the area which is showing a minus mu minus a union b as usual you know that rectangle represents the universal set and these two sets this is a and this is b okay you have to subtract the area showing a, a union b a union b means total you have to subtract this that means this is the area remaining in the universal set mu therefore i will show this area with cross lines showing universal set minus therefore a union b whole dash is equals to the area which is containing these cross lines that means you have to understand this is the area except this area which shows a union b whole dash now i will draw a dash okay intersection b dash very simple see this is the universal set u i am writing two sets a and b first you have to 
draw a dash a dash you know a dash means mu minus a you have to remove a from universal set then the remaining area this is the remaining area which is showing a dash okay i am removing a from mu that means from universal set removing a is called complement next b dash so you have to show the area by using these cross lines next b dash b dash is very simple as a dash you have to remove b from universal set so you have to remove this one and show with the different lines another cross lines i'm using here so i am not taking b into consideration okay so b is the area which is showing with this lens b dash now a dash intersection b dash so a dash intersection b dash means the area which is common for both a dash and b dash where it is see if you observe this is the area which is common for both a dash and b dash therefore you may show that the common area for both a dash and b dash showing with both the cross lines if you observe the area for a in and b whole dash and a dash intersection b dash is same this is the area here you are removing this here also you are taking common area for both cross lines then you are removing this so you may conclude that a in nb whole dash is equals to a dash intersection b dash similarly you may draw venn diagram for these two sets and you will conclude that both the areas are equal coming to a minus b union c is equals to a minus b intersection a minus c this is also very important a minus b union c is equals to a minus b intersection a minus c i will draw venn diagram for this and venn diagram for this i will conclude that both the areas are equal see i am dividing this area here i am drawing a universal set with u taking three sets this is the first one this is the second one b and this is the third one let it be a b and c first draw b union c b union c is nothing but the area containing both b and c okay b union c you have to show that this what with vertical lines now from this area a minus b union c means from a from a that means this is a you have to remove b union c b union c means this is the area containing b union c you have to remove that so first to show a with horizontal lines a is equals to with horizontal lines okay i am showing this with horizontal lines therefore a minus b union c means you have to remove the area showing b union c if you remove this you will have only this area this is the area which is showing a minus b union c therefore i will write only horizontal lines next coming to a minus b okay here i will represent the universal set with mu then i will draw circles for a b and c this is a this is b and this is c first i will show a minus b a minus b means you have to remove b from a see this or a and b this is the area belongs to b therefore i have to remove that and show only a here only a here okay that is a minus b is showing with horizontal lines and i will show a minus c with different types of different type of lines a minus c that means from a you have to remove c that means these are a and c 
I am removing the common area for A and C. Why? Because you have to remove C from A. Therefore, this is the area which shows that which shows that A minus C. A minus C is with vertical lines. Now, question is A minus B intersection A minus C. Intersection says that the common area for A minus B and A minus C. See, you are showing A minus B with horizontal, A minus C with vertical. Common means wherever they are meeting. See, if you observe, this is the only area where they are meeting. That is equals to, you have to show the area with common lines containing both horizontal and vertical lines. If you observe, this area and this area are same. Don't think that here you are having two lines, here you are having single lines. I am not talking about the lines. I am talking about the area in the both cases. If the area in both the cases is equal, then these two sets are equal. This is also called De Morgan law. Similarly, you may prove this also. Next and last one is a union b union c is equals to a union b union a union c this is very very easy these laws are called associative laws i will prove this one then you may prove the second one also okay first a union b union c i will draw venn diagram for this then here a union b union a union c see i am taking one universal set let it be a sorry that is u so this is a this is b this is c a b c first b union c show this b union c with different lines and a with the different lines then union means you will take both that means nothing but a union b union c all are unions no intersections are there. All the three sets are union means total area comes. Total area shows for A union, B union, C. Similarly, if you, if you draw the Venn diagram for this is U, let this is A, B, C. Here, B union, C. Let B union, C with B union, C. Show B union, C with horizontal okay and a with vertical i am showing this with vertical then a union b union c is the area which shows horizontal plus okay vertical plus both that means nothing but total area here also first a union b i will show the area a union b with horizontal and a union c that is with vertical okay so a union b this is a union b a union b union a union c that is nothing but all the area where only vertical only horizontal and both if you observe these two areas are equal therefore we may conclude that this and this are equal in this way you may use Venn diagrams to establish relation between any two sets. Okay. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for receiving notifications. We will have a problem session to solve the problems basing on these concepts.